I started my trip in Belgrade, Serbia, where I picked up my ski equipment, saw some friends and family, and from there I took off to Zurich. I only spent one night in Zurich, but it was enough for me to go and explore and see how magical the city can become during the holiday season. Next day, I took a train to Zermatt with quick layover in Wiesb. I bought first class tickets with Rail Europe for $137, but second class would have been just fine as well. The train was comfortable and had a restaurant on second level with food and drinks. It was a great way to start my trip, relaxing in a restaurant, chatting with locals, and enjoying the stunning views of the Alps. In addition to its stunning beauty and diverse skiing options, Zermatt offers a unique and exciting future, the ability to ski across international borders right into Italy. This cross-border skiing adventure allows you to enjoy a blend of Swiss and Italian ski cultures, complete with varied terrains and spectacular alpine vistas. However, during my visit to Zermatt, I was a bit too early in the season to experience this unique cross-border skiing adventure to Italy. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough snow yet to make the journey over, which is a reminder of the importance of timing, of planning a ski trip to this area, a reminder to check the snow conditions and resort opening times to fully enjoy all the opportunities Zermatt has to offer. Zermatt, a gem nestled in the Swiss Alps, is a breathtaking spectacle of natural beauty, making it a top destination for skiing enthusiasts worldwide. Its gorgeous landscape, characterized by the iconic Matterhorn, offers a stunning backdrop that enhances every skiing experience.
Their resort caters to everyone, from beginners to expert skiers, with a diverse range of slopes and skiing terrains. Moreover, the panoramic views from any point in Zermatt are truly mesmerizing. Chamonix emerges as a winter wonderland, with charming chalets and stunning architecture set against the breathtaking backdrop of mountains, making this town really magical. Everywhere you look, there's a postcard perfect view of the mountains meeting the sky. I stayed at Alpina Eclectic Hotel a contemporary four-star hotel ideally located near the bus stop that can take you to all nearby ski resorts. Their rooms are well designed with glorious views of Mont Blanc and neighboring peaks and glaciers, and fantastic restaurant on top floor that had breakfast buffet and crepe bar was absolutely worth it. With five ski resorts, Chamonix is considered as world's best free ride ski resort and has plenty to offer for all ski levels. Mont Blanc is the crown jewel of Chamonix, with majestic peaks and stunning vistas of the highest mountain in the Alps. Every moment skiing on these slopes feels unforgettable. During my stay, I had arranged private off-piste skiing lessons, but due to less than anticipated snow conditions, I had to change my plans and decided to go skiing to Italy, Cormayer, with my ski guide that I've booked through Chamonix Experiences on Instagram, who picked me up, drove me to Italy, spent the entire day exploring the slopes, and arranged lunch reservation on the mountain in a fantastic restaurant with fresh pasta, wine, and homemade cooking.
Overall, my trip was fantastic. I do really wish I had better snow conditions, but even with that, I managed to have great time skiing, exploring, indulging in amazing food and drinks, and embarking the most stunning views of the majestic Alps.